welcome to another session of this light body activation and DNA upgrade series. Today we are with Vivian Chauvet. She is an Arcturian hybrid and a beautiful being who has developed healing modalities, the Arcturian Healing Arts Program. She is an emissary for the Federation of Light and she's an advocate for planetary evolution. Today we are talking about light body Merkaba template activation, the DNA vibrational shift. Vivian, thank you so much for being here. Welcome. Thank you so much, Lauren, for having me. As always, it is a pleasure for us on behalf of my Arcturian delegation and I to be of service to provide wisdom, to bring so much light to everything that we do. And it is a pleasure to be part of this amazing series and of course, being in your presence, Lauren, always brings me so much joy. Likewise, thank you. We love the vibration that you hold and that you bring and the connection to the Arcturians. I would say anybody who has ever been melted by that word Arcturian, the heart melts, the uh, interest peaks, then we are connected to the Arcturians or have an aspect of them or definitely feeling their influence. So we welcome you and your wealthy team of Arcturians to this beautiful presentation today. As we get started, can you share what you know as an Arcturian hybrid? In 2007, you went through this awakening and you remembered the holographic and quantum healing with the Arcturian Council. And so as we're talking about light body and DNA, from that perspective, what do you know about this shift and transformation of the human being? Indeed, this is a big shift. It's something that has been foreseen as a potential for a very long time. So if you take a group like the Arcturians or even the Andromedans, we are among the most ancient and enlightened intergalactic groups interacting with the earth for a very, very long time. So we we have the ability to monitor multiple multitude, I mean, of timelines. And we know we can see all at once what is the greatest potential in action. The good news, Lauren and everyone, is that the earth is truly in complete alignment in her strong timeline that we call the reascension process. And that ties up very closely with the light body, the new DNA template, the fifth dimensional human body evolving. So you know that all aspect of your being, even though at a soul level, many of us identified ourselves to the stars, other place in the multiverse, other star system, and even beyond. While we are in these physical form, we have to look at the human template that we all embodying to a certain degree in, in my case, but the human template that we embody and to look how much it is evolving. So we encourage everyone to really include a body consciousness to be a part of it. So if you look at the light body, it is truly the body of consciousness. Your body is much more than a dense physical form made of carbon base with heavy muscular system and a really heavy skeleton structure with organs and complex system. This is just the 3D physical aspect of how we perceive the frequency of the human body from a 3D perspective. But the body in reality is made of light body. So the language that the body speaks is truly energy and energy turns into light so the elevation of the light body is done also primarily by maintaining and cultivating a constant state of higher frequency and how you can do this it's allowing yourself to identify beyond this 3d identity remember that you are a an essence of divine essence of prime creator and that prime creator substance, that omnipotence, that omnipresence that animates your physical form also helps to elevate and expand the level of the light of the body, light body. So we have to think about the semantics that we are really utilizing here just to illustrate 
very important concept that everyone can ultimately relate to. Body, my body is pure light, light body, and these associations. So it helping in helping everyone to step out of a more lower pace or lower rhythm of frequency that makes the body so solid and heavy, just like my cup is. I can feel the weight in it. It has an energy. That's because the atoms, the frequencies, everything that moves, the molecular structure of this cup appears to me very low, dense, so it takes the form of a cup. But your body responds in the same manner. That means that all aspects of you, your thought forms, your emotions, what you believe about yourself, what is reality, how you expand your light and your field will have a direct impact on how your body structure will start to vibrate. So today with the light body, what we're going to do is that we're going to do also a simple light body 12 level activation within the Merkaba and how it reflect into your DNA template, which is really exciting. And we have prepared that for you today and I'm really excited to do that. And so we want us to take step by step to understand your soul, your higher self, sometimes known as the super consciousness. It's all part, integrate part of who you are, even in this so-called physical form. But now can you imagine for a moment if you give your body consciousness, the complete permission to start to activate and elevate the frequency, to start to vibrate at a higher pace, what do you think is going to happen? You're going to start to generate more light. Your body starts to feel lighter. That means that how your, your cells, your chromosome communicates, your bones vibrate, everything starts to carry the same level of frequency that it generates that also affect your DNA template. Remember, everything is interconnected. It's an intelligent synergy of life within you. So the, the DNA template with the light body activation, the more you carry light, the more the system become much more multidimensional. And then it can really start to remembering their original design to bring in the original, original celestial blueprint design for the body. I understand that for the time being, that may sound still a little bit out of reach, but here's the thing, it's already a part of you. This is why today in our presentation, we're going to, as we've been starting to do, we're going to explore certain quantum terms energy, frequency, realization, and then we'll do the activation so you can experience for yourself. You can really invite into yourself what we are speaking of. And we know that as you're listening to those words of wisdom filled with presence and light, your body is already starting to shift. So I'm going to invite you to really pay attention how your body is responding to what we're sharing with you right now and to the activation we're about to do. Does that sound exciting as an invitation? It really is. So, and this is why we are approaching everything that we do is to help all of us to gain a better, clearer, conscious ability to transcend belief system about our body. So the way you speak about your physical form, like instead of talking about certain dis slash ease, talk about symptoms distortion. My body is speaking to me. My body seems to need my attention. My body is getting my, want me to be there with him or with her or the energy of your body consciousness. Listen to it. What does your stomach tell you? What are your lungs? What is it in your body that's shifting? Sleep pattern, diet, what is it that your body is shifting as layers, energetic layers or overlays or genetic patterns, belief system, historical imprint? You're moving into a different state. So all aspect of you is really allowing this natural transformational process that ultimately allow you to gain more light. So we talk about the solo body of light, all these layers that coexist with the physical form, whether it's the mental, what we call the mental field, the emotional field, 
etheric astral and you go beyond you are made of a multitude of layers these layers seen and unseen known and unknown or even recognized or unrecognized are still coexisting with you what i found interesting is that i did some research about light body i've I've always been passionate about this. In Taoism, the light body to them is known as a diamond body. Well, I like that. So I bring this philosophy, this energy to our lecture today. Taoism, the light body means the diamond body. Think about it. It's like this prism of light I'm going to show you on the screen. This is my dear friend here. It's my ancient friend. It's always with me. So imagining your body like a diamond body that is reflecting a multitude of spectrum of light, energy, history, wisdom, soul aspect, all connected to the crystalline core of your being, of your essence, your consciousness. So imagining being able to visualize, like in my crystal right now, to feel what it will be like to you to tell your body Okay, body, return to your original state. It's time to initiate the natural process of remembering what our diamond body really feels like, looks like. So when I found this wonderful piece of knowledge to history in ancient practice to recognize the body in a clear vessel, it's always been designed to be a clear vehicle, a temple, to allow higher soul consciousness to enter the body and being able to becoming one with it. We look at the great masters of light, Master Sananda. We know Sananda on the intergalactic level as such. You may remember Sananda as Master Jesus, Master Buddha, Master Serapis Bay, and all the great masters. We talk about the transformation of the light body for light body ascension, and where the physical form become pure, pure light or diamond light, if you want to call it this way, and the transcendence of matter into light form, and then the body comes and transmute, and then the master transform. There's no heavy form left behind anymore. This is part of the reversal of thought system where we are shifting an, an actual culture of thinking from the reincarnation uh, wheels, the karmic wheels, where we come back incarnation after incarnation and we're simply leaving a body behind and we take a new one and the identity, we're continuing our journey. The good news about this is just like the master's, and the returning into the diamond body structure in the light form is that we can now attain a new level of self-mastery and enlightenment that allowing the shifting of the physical template into a light template. You know, it sounds like, well, but only the master can achieve this, but it's accessible to all of us. It's about the cultivation of it. It's about higher practice, higher intellectual practice, mental, emotional stability, maintaining balance within ourselves. And this is why I love to work with the universal principle as well as a support system to attain that more and more of the transformation of the light body becomes more of a reality. And then you can do this in your practice every day, which is exactly why we're going to do an activation today. So you can feel it, understand it, step-by-step, step, 12 level of activation. Can you imagine? So the light body, even in the Tibet Buddhism, in a great practice of the Tibetan Buddhism, you know how they call the light body? They call it a rainbow body, right? So you know where we're going with this. It's reflecting light spectrum of intelligence as the body structure is really shifting back to its original memory its original form this is what we call the celestial human body and this is the step as we can take every day by shifting just the way we talk about your health how are you speaking about yourself if you were to talk about describe to me in a few words your the body your body structure your well-being your the health of your body what would you say and I can assure you that the moment you activate your throat chakra and you start to verbalize thought process, emotions, energies, 
those thoughts become materialized, really physical matter of energies and the vibration they emanate, the body absorb all of it. So personally, I'm always very mindful the way I speak about my body. I always say, this is how my body is. It is perfect for me. It is perfect for us. I am healthy in my own way. It is perfect for what I need in this lifetime. You will rarely hear me say negative things about my physical form because I understand that my physical form is this conscious intelligent system that constantly listen and wants to implement what I seemingly need the most. And believe me, the body will find solution. You may not like it, but the body will find solution for you. So if you look at the many traditions on the planet, practices, monk, Buddhist, all over the planet for history and history, you know that the practice of the light body has always been a reality. We're simply returning to it. So your light body can be accessed from within as you get in touch with it vibrationally. So your vibratory state will define what aspect, where are you into the integration of the light energy. Another example of this, I like to be practical too. Look at all this solar energy we're receiving come from the great central sun going into the sun, the galactic alignment, planet movement into the electromagnetic field, all of these electrical movement or energetic cosmic energetic movement will that influence your body template. My loving recommendation would be to utilizing each level of light spectrum or cosmic energy receiving to the planet as a catalyst to initiate more and more the conscious aspect of your light body activation. And that can be done every day. The moment you're here to feel, when you just feel the sun or imagining communicating with the sun, I said every level of cosmic transmission that we are receiving on the planet, to the planet core, within the planetary grid system, reflecting into my own energy grid structures and systems, contribute to the activation of my light body with peace, harmony, in complete resonance, in resonance with who I am, who, who I am shifting into. So you're allowing that conscious evolution for you. Your body will absorb what it needs at a time and you're allowing that integration process to take place. And then the next thing you know, your body starts to increases vitality, is responding to you at a higher level. There's a stability to it. And it allows you consciously to be able to be more in tune with your body, to understand. The Arcturians, we perceive this as part of achieving your highest potential when you are allowing the release of codes of light energy old history, wisdom that you brought with you. And the more your highest vibrational frequency increase and the light body increase along with you, what there's more that reveal yourself to you. Can you imagine becoming an integrated part of your own light body or consciously? To visualize, you can also visualize the rainbow spectrum light during the rays of the spectrum of the ascension bridge to bring into consciousness and to feed and to tell, I am ready to embrace more of my light body and to see what does it mean for you? Because the word light body will shift in synchronicity and meaning according to where you are. And the more you are opening yourself to these sacred knowledge and your understanding through your super consciousness, you start to realize that your body has been speaking this language all along. So we are very powerful being in the quantum group field that we are a part of. It's also allowing and inviting all of us to step into that light body activation. Your DNA in return receive those light frequencies. And the more your light body becomes a reality, the more your body, your DNA template start to get more energetically active. 
and you've been able to communicate with your body, with your DNA template. The human light body, it's another term to talk about it because the human light body is also the solo biomagnetic field that is part of your physical body that is embedded into your physical body. You've always been part of this luminous template but you only see the third dimensional reflection of it. I feel it's a time to really understand that even physically your body generate that light body. This is part of the consciousness, the intelligence of the body. That energy template needs both aspects, a physical manifestation with the generation of that light body coexisting together. Think of it as a multidimensional template that coexists with each other. And all aspects are necessary, even to, how could I say that, clear skin, maintain your vibrational healthy balance to the organs, how the trillions of cells coexist with each other, the quantum communication between each structure and system, whether it's your nervous system, the lymphatic system, how your cardiovascular system absorb that light and being able to balance is physical structure the way the valve communicate with each other did you know that and the valve of your of your heart your physical heart communicate with each other the more you are in harmony with your heart chakra the more your cardiovascular system reflect that harmony i have listened to my valve talking and it tell me hey there's a pull here bring us back in harmony and i say okay thank you for the reminder i will i will be with you right now and I will attend to that night, to that beautiful alignment. So think of it this way. Your light body is almost like an alternative body that allows you to remember your multidimensionality, that allows you to remember how much you are a multidimensional being. It's, it's, it's these energy layers. And you think about clearing all wounds and belief systems. After time, what do we do as healers or practitioners, or even you can do it just by connecting to your body, you have to look in terms of where these wounds are imprinted and what layer, what energetic layers it is at. Whether it's from childhood going into your soul history, it will be at these layers. Whether it's coexisting in the subconscious level, whether it's what we call your abstract field of history that is still influencing your spine, neck, the cervicals, alignment, I mean, it's everything. It's all of these energetic layer. Remember this. Your physical body is in constant quantum communication with your light body. It's like an interface. They're communicating. They're exchanging information. How do they do that? Through vibration, through light, energy transferred. And that communication, in turn, what it does, it produces a various spectrum of color, of light color, that can be seen in your aura. Isn't that wonderful? I know many of you say, oh, I want to see my aura, so I go take a picture of it. Well, you can see it yourself through just the practice to feel that I'm allowing my physical body with my light body to communicate with ease. I am at peace and harmony with both aspects. And I release all of these color spectrum energies. And I'm allowing my aura to glow with all these various colors and frequencies of light. And these frequencies of light will fluctuate according to your mood swings, emotional state, mental stability, belief systems, and how you feel about yourself. So which brings me back to one of the major key, also to the light body activation, it's complete self-love and self-acceptance. More than a cliche, more than a redundancy, it is a key to your own study of self-mastery and rediscovering. This is foundation that I wish teach that children would be taught in school, these foundations. How the sacred heart of communicating through your body and your light body and to perceive your own aura and all the colors. If you 
The moment you perceive yourself as such a luminous being, self-love is implied. There's no other way. So the more you're refining your consciousness further along by practice, application, willingness, determination, the more you're allowing the non-physical and the physical to enter into a state of light. And it's also another way to perceive your light body. That state of light. Isn't that amazing? So let's start. Let's do this beautiful activation. Let's bring yourself into these 12 activation level. I'm going to go gently one by one. And we invite you to feel that each level that we do into the light body activation, that's a reflection in your DNA template. 12, 12 level of activation of the light body with 12 strands of DNA. You see where we're going with this? It's exciting. So we're going to take you step by step. It's a gentle, it's going to be interactive, experiential. First, we need we activate the light body for your own evolution, for your own reascension, for your own allowing yourself to rediscovering how much everything is truly accessible within you right here, right now. And then, of course, through the light body, we also invite you to feel your DNA template, and I will add imagining your rainbow body on top of that. Mm -mm. As we are tuning ourselves to different spectrum of light. So we're going to feel that that's the invitation we have for you. So right now, let's proceed into this beautiful activation. And we invite you to make yourself very comfortable, sitting down, feet on the ground if you can. Just allow yourself to really relax, starting with your shoulders and your neck. Just feel that you're settling into your space. And thank you for closing your eyes. Let's take a moment to settle in into your own light body. We invite you to feel already all these energetic layers that compose your light body. And to feel your own physical template vibrationally shifting into a higher frequency. Imagining like a radio station just turning the knob up every time. You can even ask to your body consciousness to reveal all the color light spectrum that radiates through your light body into your aura. And ask your third eye with confidence, self-assurance, self-love, and divine presence to help you to start to perceiving the multitude layers, the beauty, the radiance of all of those color frequencies in your aura. It may begin by one color at a time, or one spectrum at a time. Whether you feel, hear, know what you know, eventually perceive, visualize, or even imagine, you are activating a multitude of intuitive centers and sensory points with trust, trust in your ability. This is who you are. So let's breathe into it, expand. Invite your mind to be part of the process for this beautiful light body activation, reflecting into your own DNA template. And as we go layer by layer, imagining your light body expanding, activating, as well as inviting your DNA strengths to become more active, luminous, and in complete harmony and balance with your light body. And to do so right now, we invite you to visualize, feel, or simply imagine a beautiful Merkaba of light, a dimensional vehicle 
And this Merkaba of light is magnificent. It radiates this beautiful golden light. It is the perfect size for you, allowing you to step inside of the Merkaba of light. So imagine or feel or simply allow yourself to be right in the center of this Merkaba of light. It is also a vehicle of light. And the Merkaba already attuned itself to your light body. But remember that you are pure energy. You are an essence of divinity. And you are a multidimensional being. You exist well beyond this physical form. Just keep reading. Just allow everything to unfold. And now we begin with the first level, the first activation. The first light body activation that goes directly into your physical form. This is the level where we are tuning the light with your physical body. Connecting to source. It's a sacred bridge of interconnections between the physical physicality and the light form. Take the time to breathe into the first light body layer activation. The initial bridge of interconnections. Beautiful. This is what we call your foundation. And now we're gently moving into the second level, the second layer of light body activation. And this time you can feel there's a shift in paradigm slowly emerging at a cellular level in your mind and even in your heart. The second level of activation invites you to already elevate yourself beyond third dimensional reality. To invite this movement, this invitation of shifting into paradigm. This also to help your third eye to start to perceive your body in its luminous form. Just keep reading, allowing the light to flow. And from the second layer, we're going to move into the third layer of the light body. At this point, your physical senses start to move, shift, alter themselves. You're moving out of matter. And you start to feel the quantum aspect of your physical temple. Your physical senses start to show signs of multidimensionality. You're able to perceive more, to feel, to experience. And remember that each layer also corresponds to different strands of your DNA within the template. Just keep reading, allowing to feel, experience. And as we're shifting now into the fourth layer of the light body activation, we invite you to feel like breakthroughs happening, like you're pursing beyond the veil, this higher clarity a sense of being connected to all really start to emerge in you. Even your body appear to be more of an harmonized system of light, intelligence, exchange of energy, 
information and partnership. Just allow this experience to bubble inside of you to really feel how much your body, every aspect, even every cell, every part of your skin collaborates, communicate with each other. And each layer of the activation allows you, invites you to gain more light, to feel that you already start to shift into a higher level of light activation. Just keep breathing, allowing everything to integrate with grace. Moving to the fifth layer of light of body activation. It is where a doorway in time opens up and your mind is stepping out of the linear thinking, the linear perceiving, allowing all thoughts, patterns to shift and release themselves out of the body structure. This is where the body starts to feel lighter. Your mind is also more present. This doorway in time is open to allow this release, the old dust, to be removed. And we invite you to see and feel yourself shifting out of linear time, out of linear thinking, and how you're perceiving your body and your light body. Mm, just keep breathing, carrying more light as we expanding, which reflect back into your DNA template. We're going to shift now into the sixth layer of your light body. This is why you come into in contact with your essence. You may feel the presence of your spirit guides working with you in the light. This is where aspect of your multidimensional selves start to communicate with you on a more conscious level. We invite you to feel everything through your body template, your vessel. And your body start to really expand more and more into its light luminous form. Just welcome your spirit guides, your angelic guardians, and even your star families connect, connecting with you. Beautiful, just let everything flow. We're going to now move into the seventh layer of the light body activation. This is what we call entering the clearing emotional stage of the light body activations, where your heart center opens up like a lotus flower. At this point, your higher self shows you how much everything is so divinely, divinely synchronized. Perfect timing. It regulates also the inner chronos of your body, the inner clock of your body. There's no longer abiding by three dimensional belief system. It allows your body to become more in tune with universal presence. That universal presence also reflects into your DNA template and its consciousness. Can you already feel that you're shifting into a higher dimensional conscious presence? Beautiful, just let everything flow.
moving into the eighth level of light body activation. This is where your pineal gland start to expand, remembering its own original design. It will influence also how your third eye is opening, shifting, being activated. To breathe to your third eye in the chakra of the occipital on the back of your head. You may perceive sacred geometric patterns, light frequencies, colors. This is where the new fifth dimensional paradigm takes form and settles in your lighter body structure. Just keep breathing, allowing everything to flow. We're going to bridge the eight and the night, number nine layers together as number nine is where the universe reveal itself to you. Perceiving the universe, always expanding, intelligent, abundant, this omnipresence of supreme intelligence that reflects into all aspects of your body template to truly feel this bridge of interconnections with your light body. And in time, how everything becomes one. The multidimensional self. Everything coexists with you in the now. So as you are integrating the eight and the ninth layers of your light body. I'm going to move into the tenth layer of your light body activation. This is why you're opening up higher intellectual mastery to feel and welcome the inner masters within you, recognizing yourself as an ancient soul. recognizing the wisdom that you carry within you, entering into a higher spiritual discipline, practice, and cultivation. The tenth layer of your light body structures allow you to opening up doorway to space and time to communicate with the higher dimensions beyond the fifth dimensional structure. Just keep reading everything to your heart with inner peace. We're going to move now into the 11th and the 12th layers of your light body activation, moving into a more crystalline structure. See and feel the creation of all the layers of the light spectrum frequencies forming a tapestry within you. That tapestry is holding the original blueprint of your body template, always luminous, perfectly in harmony with your light body. This is where you are moving, living, and operating from your divine self. And as we achieve the 12th layer right now, this is the final level of the light body activation where you're allowing your own a divine soul plan, your divine design to becoming a more active part of you, reflecting in all dimensions of your life. This is where you alt also enter into a deeper alter state of higher consciousness. And we invite you to truly feel at peace with all aspects of you, your being, your body, your light body structure, your DNA, 
be at peace with the universe, with the intergalactic communities, be at peace with Mother Gaia and the ascension process. Be at peace with all there is. Remember the blueprint of this truly inner universal peace permeating your light body, your physical form, all aspect of you, your essence, and your heart. Moving forward with confidence on your sacred life path. And as all the 12 layers of your light body activation are completely aligned, expanding more light into your aura, in your body template, in your DNA, feel the 12 strands glowing with light, intelligence, presence, and imagining all these new conscious alchemical process coming together to allowing you to evolve and shift in consciousness and reach the next level of your own enlightenment and ultimately returning into an ascended form. It is a grand return. Let's take a deep breath through your heart and release. Beautiful. To see and feel that you're completely back in your body in full consciousness. You're now welcome to open your eyes and just affirm, I am that I am. Because being a light body or having a light body, it's a natural state. I am that I am. Thank you so much, everyone. That was absolutely incredible. Wow, absolutely incredible is beyond words. We are glowing orbs of light. Wow. Thank you so much, Vivian. That was really remarkable. And I just want to say, even before you began, the 12 layer activation, just your words explaining it mesmerized us and made us feel so happy. Then to go into that experience, we will never be the same. We will never be the same. Thank you so much. What a gift. What an incredible gift for everyone as we move through our daily life to come back to this, to return to it, to bring that consciousness into it as we did just now yeah. is really powerful, really powerful and so new earth that it brings immense hope and empowerment. That is the key, empowerment, absolutely. It brings me so much joy and warms my heart that we're able to provide such gifts. And especially at such a pivotal time that we're in right now. Oh my really gosh. Yeah. I mean, I get goosebumps on it because if we're not connected in this way, we can be tossed around like a sailboat on the wind and the seas of change. And we all know it can get hectic in those situations. But this gives us fortification and strength and calmness and certainty. <laughs> all of the above, all of the above. And that becomes part of your foundation. And you walk in life and you evolve to become much more a powerful anchor point of light everywhere you go, wherever you set foot, wherever you hear or receive. You're going to be like this presence, like this ancient hook 
whose roots are so strong and balanced that it walks in confidence, it knows, it understands what evolution is about in spite of all the swirls and the sorrow and the emotional turmoil. It has this centeredness, this wisdom of knowing in. So you can hold within yourself a much bigger divine design, a bigger understanding of what is it that we are witnessing, experiencing, going through. It's just, it was perfect for where we are today and moving forward. <laughs> so perfect and so beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And again, thank you for all who are watching and listening to receive this. Wow. I can really sense this shift on our planet and within each of us because of that. Wonderful. Okay. Well, thank you for this beautiful presentation. We want to talk now briefly about how people can work with you because we want more. Yes, yes of course. <laughs> And you have a special offer, the 12 Ascension Virtues Workshop. Oh my, this seems really powerful as well. Tell us about this. Thank you, Lauren. And again, it's such a joy to provide um, activation and support for the Ascension. So a 12 Virtue of Ascension is really about going back into the embodiment and the practice of what these virtues, as they were encoded into the sacred Ascension altar, the old, the flame of ascension. And so we're going back in a time even beyond Atlantis, beyond Lemuria. We're returning into understanding these core values, what these virtues really supporting all of us and how the implementation, the rediscovering. We talk about achieving the mastery within. When you live by the energy and the application of those virtues, just like the 12 level of the light body activation we just did, which reflect into your DNA. Well, the 12 virtue is also a part of it because it allow you at the soul level to really implement these values, how these virtues will work with you, how you can navigate through life, communicating, opening your channels, becoming more in tune with who you are without being swayed like a leaf in the wind, like you mentioned, plus the Octarians, my group, will do is that we're going to do also a very specific light codes incurring when we do the 12. We're going to be reviewing each of the 12 virtues and we're going to integrate the essence, the principle of each virtue right into the template, into our the soul level, and being able to retrieve maybe aspect of you, fractal of light of you, that may be returned to you. It can be for those of us who've been in Atlantis and allowing us to retrieve some aspect of that knowledge and how you can really implement that today. So the 12 virtue is truly a workshop of rediscovering the self-masters who we are, understanding the star seed within ourselves, understanding who we are and how we can really play a bigger role. How can I be of service? Well, it becomes more of these tools that we can implement. And we love to bring activation. It's going to be experiential. You're going to be seeing so much more. My team's saying, yes, I see orbs all around me right now. And it, when you are entering into our realm, like each word has such an energy of transmission, you are also interconnecting with my Arcturian dedication and will be able to be in that energy field with us the entire time. So this is an aspect of what this two-day workshop. So let's emerge ourselves into these higher realms of sacred knowledge and how we can bring those tools back and activate them. Powerful. Really wonderful. Thank you so much for this workshop and mostly for this activation today. Again, really remarkable and we love it. I know I can speak for everyone. We love it. Wow. Mm, Vivian Chauvet, you are so beautiful and exquisite in the frequency that you carry and tune us into. 
And for that, we are eternally grateful. As we say goodbye, any final co uh, comments or thoughts? Well, my gratitude to you, Lauren, for allowing us to be every time be of service and being able to expand our presence and how we can really support humanity to elevate themselves. And I would say my gratitude for all of you, because you are also on the planet. That means that your light, your presence is just as important. And it is all together that we're co-creating the elevation of the new earth into a tangible manifestation reality. And so I'm grateful for you as well. And thank you for allowing us to be a part of your amazing soul journey. Beautiful. Again, we are forever transformed on this journey of light. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This has been a presentation of New Earth One Network, your home for New Earth living. Visit NewEarthOne.com.